All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory unto the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Makakodash. The well honest to the apostles and the elders that do the well great no stone. Peace and salutation to the Akim out there pushing this gospel in sincerity and truth. Say so Shalom to the humble and sincere sisters out there as well. To the brother Kalam from the GMS Strand Camp. Coming back at you with another lesson entitled Not of Works. Alright, Not of Works. You know, we, in, you know, a point, you know, I, I tend to, you know, reiterate and, and hey, not just I but the body, you know. We, re we reiterate the point of of how our salvation would come and our salvation shall only come in our faith and belief and strong fear faith you know and love in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai right we are we are at the mercy of our Lord you know that, that, that is the only way what could you do you know to say that hey i gonna make it into the gates you know i gonna set my my name in the book of life what could you really do you understand what great act you could commit that will cause the lord to deliver you son there's only one way and that's through the mercy, the tender mercies of our Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, right? In the name of Yahweh Shai, whom died for our sins, who died for our sins, right? I'll go to my first precept here, the second Timothy, chapter 1, verse 9 through 10. It says, Who hath saved us and called us with an holy calling? Not according to our works, but according to his own purpose and grace, which was given us in Yahushai, Yahamashiach, before the world began, but is now made manifest by the appearing of our Savior, Yahushai Yahamashiach, who hath abolished death and hath brought a life and immortality to light through the gospel. Right, so it says, Before the world began, According to the Lord's purpose and grace, He had saved us and called us with what? And a holy calling. It said not according to our works. You know, because I said in a video um, that I did yesterday, uh, when we came into this truth, we were wicked. Right? We didn't come in righteous. We didn't come in perfect. We, be, we come in very wicked. We were all wicked. You understand? We were Christians, we were Muslims, we were Hindus, we were atheists, you know, we were adulterers, you know, some of us are, you know, fornicators, right, um, thieves, murderers, you know, we were all manner of things, right, sorcerers, a lot, a lot of, of, of us, you know, probably through our parents, whatever the case is, you know, had to go through that sorcery type lifestyle, you know. We were all manner of things. Covetous, violent, hateful towards brethren. You understand? Truth breakers, you know, we were all manner of evil. When we came into this truth. And that didn't stop us from getting the truth. You understand? Our ways, our actions didn't stop us from receiving this word. Nor did it stop those in the days of Yahweh Shai. He came unto us. He came unto the sinners. He came unto the, the wicked to show them good. He came unto the, unto the darkness to show it light. Right? So it's not of our works, it's according to his purpose. Understand before the world began, before the foundations of the of the world, it was already set, it was already ordained who shall be saved and who shall not be saved. This is the book of Ephesians, chapter 2, or start at verse 8. It says, For by grace ye are saved through faith, and not of yourselves. It is the gift of power, 
not of works lest any man should boast because the apostle paul right called to be an apostle you know directly from yahweh shai he was trying to show these people that you know all they're talking about is hey who circumcised who doing this who doing that and he's trying to show them it's nobody do you understand the the, the 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 importance is not in the do the importance is in is in the why do you understand why get circumcised why keep the laws to the best of your ability why why keep the holy days you understand why not the doing but the why because in the why you will, you, the answer you will get is because i believe because i have faith and that's what he was trying to get them to see Circum circumcision means nothing if you ain't have no faith you understand it means nothing if you ain't have faith if you ain't believe right verse 9 is saying not of works lest any man should boast so there's nothing that we could boast about there's nothing to be boastful about or prideful or arrogant about nothing in this truth we received was our own we didn't pick the truth you understand we didn't pick this the lord chose us you know the lord called us and the lord gave us all of our wisdom all of our faith the scriptures say what faith is a gift given unto the elect so everything that we have everything that we did and will do is through the spirit of yahweh bashem yahushai the fact that we are alive right now is not of ourselves it's true yahweh bashem yahushai we breathe and we live and we praise him right so there's absolutely nothing to be boastful about because we are nothing you understand the, you know realize that understand that you are nothing in comparison to your bashim shai and there's nothing for you to boast about because you are not greater than the man beside you or in front of you you are not greater than anybody you understand not because you know some some things mean you are greater than some than another brother you are not there's nothing for you to boast about right absolutely nothing all all praise that's why we say what giving all praises all honor all glory let everything go unto your bashim you understand and no praise for us because we don't deserve it this is the book of philippians chapter 3 verse 4 it says though i might also have confidence in the flesh if any other man thinketh that he hath whereof he might trust in the flesh, I more circumcised the eighth day of the stock of Israel, of the tribe of Benjamin, and Hebrew of the Hebrews, as touching the law, a Pharisee, concerning zeal, persecuting the church, touching the righteousness which is in the law, blameless. So this is the Apostle Paul. Basically, you know, he's basically saying he kept the law for my youth from youth you know come up you know that's what he know you understand he said touching the law he's a pharisee right so he's a master of the law he's a scholar right circumcised the day of the tribe of benjamin right the, you know our israelite keeping the law but watch what he says say in verse 7 it say but what things were gained to me those i counted laws for yahweh shai yea doubtless and I count all things but loss for the excellency of the knowledge of Yahweh Shai, my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things, and do count them but down, that I may win Yahweh Shai. Alright, so he's saying all, all our, you know, keeping the law, all, all the things that he did, understand, all the so called achievements that he has, and everything, you know, he counted loss, he counted but down, right, but shit. Right? It don't matter. It don't matter about the hey, I get circumcised on the eighth day, you know, and I did everything the right way. He say none of that matter. Right? All he care about is Yahweh Shai. Verse 9 is saying, and be found in him, not having mine own righteousness, which, which is of the law, but that which is through the faith of Yahweh Shai, the righteousness which is of power by faith, that I may know him, and the power of his resurrection, and the fellowship of his sufferings, being made conformable unto his death 
if by any means I might attain unto the resurrection of the dead. Right? So he's saying here, he not you don't want to be he don't want to receive that salvation having his own righteousness which is of the law. You understand? But he won the he won the salvation through the faith of Yahweh Shai. You understand? So don't he he's saying be all all what he do in the law. Every, all the laws that he kept and everything that he did is, is whatever. It don't mean anything. Right? He's studying Yahweh Shai. You know? He's studying Yahweh Shai because Yahweh Shai is the source. You understand? Yahweh Shai is the source. Yahweh Shai is the life. Right? In him was life and the life was the light of men. Right? And that's all Paul concerned about. Yahweh Shai. And making it true Yahweh Shai because he understands what that is the ultimate sacrifice. Right? That blood. Thy the blood of the only begotten Son of the Heavenly Father. Right? Thy the blood that covers us. You know? Thy the blood that will justify us. You know? Thy die, 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 die the blood that will give us that, 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 um, that retribution. You know? Last precept here. This is the book of Ephesians chapter 1 verse 6. It said to the praise of the glory of his grace. When he hath made us accepted in the beloved. In whom we have redemption through his blood. The forgiveness of sins. According to the riches of his grace. When he hath abounded toward us in all wisdom and prudence. Right? He, ha he hath made us accepted in the beloved. Not ourselves. It say in whom, right, in him, we have redemption. We have the forgiveness of sins according to the riches of what? His grace. When he hath abounded toward us in all wisdom and prudence. Having made known unto us the mystery of his will according to his good pleasure which he hath purposed in himself. Right? So it's true, I was shy. Get that understanding. Know that it will always be true, Yahweh Shai. Right? That is just like the man on the cross. Just like the prostitute. Look at these people. You understand? They, they, they were wicked as hell. Right? They were evil. They were wicked. And watch what they received from Yahweh Shai. Right? He bypassed all the scribes and the Pharisees. Right? Masters of the law. He bypassed them. And went on to the ones that were what? Failing. He went unto the broken hearted, unto the losers. You understand? Unto the low. You understand? That's who he went on to. Those that were struggling in the flesh. And he gave them what? Grace. The ability to repent. To turn back. And to fight their wickedness. And overcome it. Scriptures say anything that is born of the Lord overcome the world. Right? So... This doesn't give us a license to sin. We still uphold the law to the best of our ability. We keep the law. We do what we have to do. But understand. Understand where salvation will come. It will only come through Yahweh Shai. Through the, the, the sacrifice that Yahweh had made for us. To bring us back unto himself. And with that I hope this lesson was edifying. I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory unto the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Bahashem Makakodash. Say Shalom.